Howdy. This morning didn't get off to a great start. Um, my phone finished backing up, the new phone I got. All my editing files for the short film that I've been editing for uh, were deleted. Ah. I had to go ahead and text the director that, and um, I, f I feel like I've already taken a bit, as is, just because I'm busy directing my short film and having meetings, meetings about the other composing gig, the musical theater one. <laughs> Constantly, constantly busy. I've not had time for any of my friends or many people, uh, for that matter. Just working, working, working. Um, it's such a bad look. It really is. Um, he actually still hasn't texted me back. Um, but I know he saw it. It's just anxiety inducing. <sighs> Playing chance with my opportunities here. I was supposed to go to work five minutes ago. Um, I didn't because I was busy re-editing all the files. <sighs> Two hours of sleep. I just, I wish I could tell him what I've been doing for this project, you know? I wish he knew that I wasn't some slacker. But he doesn't know me well enough yet, you know? So if I tell him that, it's just words. Just only get your lips with him. Put on some aqua for. Your lips not only look red, and plump. Shiny and kissable. <laughs> I don't know about some people, but um, I see a girl with kissable lips. Beautiful. Lip gloss is one of the greatest inventions ever made by womankind. I stand by this. See you in a bit. Mwah. We're good. A little bit of a bathroom break right now, but really quick. The guy, he texted me back and he said, um, that we're good. That uh, I appreciate what you've been doing and, uh, you yeah, know, you got time. And I got a little bit emotional, I'm not gonna lie. You're in the middle of the Denny's because I was just like, wow, how is it possible that, um, that I'm being accepted by the cosmos? You know, I've been given this great opportunity and he's not some corporate prick. He uh, understands in some way, shape, or form just how busy I am, how much I bust my ass, and appreciates me. Which I don't know, I guess I just always felt like nobody really got that about me. How truly focused I am and busy. And again, I haven't been on my entire life, so maybe there's a reason for that. But anyway, it's just really cool. It's really cool. Also, my boss, um, I asked him if I could get sandwich my 30 minute break between my 10 minute breaks to make it a 15 minute break. He said it's probably not going to happen, but you know, you could, I could probably let you out of here by 12.30, um, which would give me a three and a half hour shift. said he doesn't really need me and also I'm leaving in two weeks so that's the update wow wow it's just um a road's being paved a road's being paved and I'm so grateful and truthfully I um not a lot of people get these opportunities I'm very very fortunate very fortunate I appreciate my life a thousand percent Anyway, now it's time for a wide angle of me urinating. Check it out. If you want that, you can subscribe to my OnlyFans, which I don't have. <laughs> I'm um, writing this day on two hours of sleep, so I apologize for the bags under my eyes. Comes with the territory. So this food was left over from an order, so it was dead as long as eating it. Sometimes I don't get a chance to eat in my day-to-day -day life. I've been going to like 24 hours without eating um, recently because I've just been so laser focused and going on long drives and composing and uh, working on my acting reels, scripts, novels. It's just um, sometimes you forget to eat. So I'm really trying to utilize this right now because I'm, I'm also trying to gain muscle mass and not a deal to be starving yourself. So I'm trying to stick with just meat though. Trying to work. Eggs, bacon. 
steak. Easy at Denny's because pretty much all we serve. <laughs> much as it <sighs> broke me. Why am I not looking at you? It's all right, that makes no sense. I just finished with the shoot and I'm immediately going to ballet uh, because I'm a lifter in the new ballet. I have to lift uh, 23 different girls in the show, I believe. Maybe I'm mistaken about that. I've had to lift 23 different girls. Um, Primarily for auditions and uh, pas de deux classes. Uh, if you don't know what, oh my goodness, that's a terrible place for my phone. Perfect. You guys go with the Dutch angle. Pas de deux is uh, called step of two. Step of two. Essentially, what that means is that it's a ballerina dancing with the support of a male. So I'm a lifter. I'm a supporter. I'm the muscle. It gives you a lot of endurance and like stamina. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm also doing a musical right now. So I got a lot of things on my plate, um, but once I'm done with that musical, that dance class, and that ballet, uh, once the performances are all done, which is what we're training for right now, I'm going to officially get an agent around the LA area and uh, drive down if and when I have an awesome opportunity. But I do want to branch down to LA, you know, maybe get a project, maybe get a movie, that would be great. I'm a pretty good actor. I don't think I'm the greatest actor of all time. As a matter of fact, that's something today that was uh, knocked into me. It's harder to cry on camera than it looks. <laughs> I'm good at, you know, other things, you know, acting angry, um, acting toxic, act acting manipulative. I can disappear into various characters, but crying on command is a lot harder than it seems. And I thought I could do it um, for a while, and I can, but when I'm alone. I'm like the superhero from Mystery Men who can only turn invisible when no one's watching. Maybe I should take some acting classes to get better at it. It's good to acknowledge that you're not the best at something. I think really where I excel is my storytelling and my ability to craft compelling stories. I think I'm a far better writer and director than I am an actor. Um, that also applies to music making and being able to elicit emotion through song. Just got home from Pas de Deux. I texted my um, director slash producer for um, Gone with the Dead. Um, and I texted him essentially, hey, you know, I'm, I'm starting out. I don't mean to um, say I'm going to do something and then not. It's an issue I have with pacing myself. Um, I have a bad habit of trying to be an overachiever when I can't time-wise with what I planned for the day. Um, I told him that I made a schedule and taken out um, about three hours uh, of each and every day because it's work and it's a fantastic opportunity and um i really gotta be diligent with that um so i gotta let him know that hey i'm i'm, I'm a kid you know I'm, I'm still young um i'm still trying to figure this out i just started a business pretty much um i haven't put in through the copyright yet but that's the only thing that's <laughs> not a business about it it's legit i'm reaching out i'm getting work i'm getting paid for it i mean it's wild just gotta start learning what it means to, to be an adult. Be responsible. The only thing I had to eat all day was um some fries. Oh yeah, and little bacon bits. But I was given more fries than I'm used to lately. Usually I'll get like uh, some fries when I'm at work. <laughs> Recently it has been turning out to be the only times I eat. But um today I got extra fries and I was like, whoa. And then I went to pay for it and my uh, coworker, Nora, um, said, ah, don't worry, I didn't charge you. And I was like, that's so sweet. That's really sweet. I hope people don't think I'm a slob, you know, or a pig, because I will take, you know, food that's been discarded and, you know, put it in the back, save it for later, eat it, take it home, whatever. Sometimes I will eat it right there at work, mid-shift, just because I'm so hungry. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's what you have to do. Um, call me, call me, um, not invested in my health. I very much am invested in my health. Um, in a way, it's it's reached a point now where it'd be unhealthy for me to not work as hard. I feel like I was incomplete. The only thing that makes each day feel complete for me is if I gave it all I had. And I did. Today, I went with everything I had. And that's pretty damn awesome. Anyway, gym time. That's how you beautiful people. Missed you guys completely, sorry. That's how you beautiful people.